what we're going to show you today is how to use the display it program to control digital signs and you've already got it set up thanks to Rodney it's already set up at your facility there with some digital signs actually working and we're going to at the end of this presentation switch over so that you can actually see your installation and see that it's exactly the same as what I'm showing you here. Now for purposes of this training, what I have is a digital sign called the main lobby sign here at Best Wave, and I'm using something called Splash Top, which allows me to connect to that digital sign and see what's on its screen. I'll do that now. That's what it looks like at this moment. And we call that the Blue Sky Presentation. And obviously you can see why. It's the blue sky with the Best Wave logo. That's what's playing on that digital sign right now. So as I do things in this demo, I will switch back and forth and show you how that affects the uh, actual sign. Okay? This is the Display It interface. Um, I'm going to walk through from left to right across these tabs. And, and, and that's how I'll show you how to use the software. John, can you drag the uh, the box over? Because uh, to the right, to the left, which way? To the left. To the left. This way or this way? The other way. Okay, great, great. Okay. All right. So here. Can Hold everybody on. see that? Okay. If anybody can't, let me know. Okay. Okay. So this is the main screen that comes up when you start Display It. And Rodney's got it set up on a shared machine so all of you can log in to the same copy of Display It and he'll give you the login credentials after this meeting. You will hardly ever use this first tab called Displays. This is where the mul the digital displays are set up initially. There are a couple of useful functions, so I'll go ahead and show you those right now. So I just selected from the pop-up the display that I want to work with, and it shows me a bunch of things here, user IDs, passwords, IP addresses, that really you don't have to worry about. They're already set up. But there's some things over here that are useful useful for everybody. The most useful one is this right here, View Screenshot. If you have put a new presentation on the display and you want to see what it looks like, you can click that button and it will request a picture from that display and it puts on top of that picture the date and time. It does that automatically once a minute so the next time it'll do it is at 8.04 our time, 10.04 your time. So once again, I'll click it. It shows the date, the time, the IP address, and what presentation is playing. And you will see a snapshot of that, your presentation playing on the display. There is also a button here called Retrieve Log Data. There is a log kept on each display of everything that's played on it. So if you ever need to look at that, it's in Excel spreadsheet format. You can click the Retrieve Log Data and it'll bring it to your computer so that you can see what's been going on, when it's been played, and so forth. Okay? Um, that's really about it in terms of this screen. That's the only thing you'll, you'll probably use. So let's move on to the Media Library. There are three media libraries that you will typically use. The backgrounds and images one, which is the first one here, flash and PowerPoint, and digital video. Okay, so I'm going to start with backgrounds and images because these all work exactly the same way. As you can see, the library contents is a lot of things that we put into the library over time. So let's look at a couple of them. Uh, this is one of our clients, Cake Love. They make uh, delicious desserts. 
I hope it's not too close to lunchtime for you guys. Uh, <laughs> they make delicious desserts from scratch when you um, go there, like right then and there. So it's a pretty neat concept. Here's a coin star. Here's a culinary center. So these are images. What format are these images in? They are in the typical formats that you are familiar with on your PC. JPEG is the most popular, but we also support PNG, BMP, GIF, TIFF, and PICT images. So if any of you are Photoshop people and are creating images, um, you may save them as PNGs instead of JPEGs. All of those are supported. So how do we add a new image to this library? We click on the Add Image button and we get your typical search. Uh, let's see. Let's do... This one's kind of cool. I'll view it as thumbnails so I can see what's here. And I'll choose an image and open it. And that's how I add one to the, um, to the library. If I want to see it again, I can click on its name in the list and it pops up. If I want to delete it, I hit the delete button. I'm not going to really do that. And I can also rename it. to something else. So there it is. That's how the libraries all work. Okay, so anything you want to play on a digital sign player, you start by putting that content into the right library. So let's look at the Flash and PowerPoint one. Um, here you can put Flash movies, like that. And you can also put PowerPoints. Now, PowerPoints cannot be shown on our preview screens because Microsoft took away the ability for us to size the player, the PowerPoint player. So when you click on a PowerPoint here, it will just say, I can't show it to you. You can't actually see it. But you can see that it's in the library. So once again, to add one, you click Add to delete or rename. All three buttons are exactly the same. And down here, you can see the formats that are supported. So you can save your PowerPoint as a standard PowerPoint. It'll have a .pptx extension or as a PowerPoint show, PPSX. And that's what I use, PPSX. And we'll talk a little more about PowerPoint in a minute. Because there's a couple things you need to do on your PowerPoints to make them compatible um, so that they loop rather than just play once. That's very important. And so that they fill the screen, putting them in the right aspect ratio. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then we have another media library for digital video. And it works exactly the same way. Uh, once again, add, delete, rename. And for your type of player, which is a PC player, you can use MPEG, Windows Media, AVI, QuickTime, and MP4. All those formats are accepted. The most popular for digital signs is the AVI format. Uh, those files tend to be a little bigger but they play smoothly, or more smoothly, on the little PCs that are running the digital displays. Um, those PCs are, are literally um, half the size of a cigar box, if you know what that size is. Very, very small PCs running little tiny Atom processors. So they're not, you know, powerhouses you can still get nice digital video, especially in the AVI format. Okay? So once again, you can click on any, any item in the library to view it here. Um, we'll use some of these as, as we go through this so you can see how it actually works. 
Okay, so that's it for media libraries, unless there's any questions. I have a question. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Edwards. Um, with the uh, video player, does that work for if we have YouTube uploaded as well? Ah, YouTube puts a invisible, uh, I'll call it a stop sign, into videos that are uploaded to YouTube. They may not do it the second you you post something on YouTube, but it will happen on every video that's there. If you download somebody's YouTube video and put it in here, it'll probably play a little bit and then it'll stop. There is a uh, software program called Video Converter Ultimate, and that product, it's in our documentation. It's from a company called Wondershare. And you can open up that that uh, video from YouTube and convert it to, let's say, AVI format, and it'll remove the um, YouTube stops from it. Okay. So it takes a little bit of work to get a YouTube video so that it'll play on here. Okay. Can you repeat the name of the software one more time for me? Yeah, it's Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. Hey, hey, John, is that software free? No, I think it costs like a hundred bucks or something. Is that a perpetual I, license or is that annual? I think it's perpetual. I mean, I bought it five, six years ago, but so don't quote me on the pricing. But I think we paid like seventy-eight dollars or something like that for it. So Wondershare.com Video Converter Ultimate. Thank you. Yeah. As and that's an excellent program for doing things with digital video all the way around. Yeah. Uh, converting things, making them smaller so they're easier to play, that sort of thing. Great, great piece of software. Yeah. Uh, let me, Other uh, John, questions? John? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, let me just interject. Uh, um, Everybody on campus has Camtasia, so as an alternative, you can also play the YouTube video uh, with Camtasia open and uh, re-record it and save it and upload it to the media library. Oh, good idea. Excellent nice. idea. Nice, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions on media libraries? Can you create subfolder underneath those categories you just saw, like right and just put all those files in there, mingling with it. Because we have a different department. Um, can you, within the library content, can you create a folder inside there too? To start oh, with? That, is a, that is a great idea. Um, we don't have it in this version, but that's how we get our good ideas for updates. Okay. So I am going to suggest that. That's Ty Tran. Yeah. Strike 105T. <laughs> Excellent idea. Okay. All right, so I will move on to templates. Chances are none of you will ever go into this screen either because we provide enough templates for people to use that you probably won't need to ever do this. but. I will show you how templates work so that you can if you want to, okay? So what is a template? A template is literally where you want content to be shown on a screen. This is the simplest template there is. It is literally just going to show a background image full screen. Uh, let's see if we have another one. Here's one that's just going to show a PowerPoint or Flash movie full screen. Now let's see what they look like if they're more complicated. This one has Flash, the green area. It has a red background area. And it also has a ticker bar across the bottom, a text bar. Okay? So how complicated can you make it? Well, here's one with five different zones or areas. So this is going, if you use this template, 
you're going to specify a background image. You're going to put in some text to scroll across the bottom. You're going to choose one or more videos, a playlist of videos to play in the yellow area. And you're going to choose a PowerPoint or Flash movie to play in the green area. So that is the most complicated template you can make. So let me show you what goes into creating a template. I'm going to do a new one. And I'll just name it Training. You can have as many templates as you want. And you click on these radio buttons to add the zones that you want. OK, so let's say I want a background image. I want some text. And I can literally grab and drag any element that I put on here on the screen to position it where I want it. Uh, let's put some video on. And I think I want it to be over here. Now, when you, when you put things on, you'll see their position. The, the colors are coordinated. So video, if I choose to have video, this section is yellow. And the, the window where the video is going to show is also yellow. So if I look at that, it shows me where the left side is, the top, the width of it, and the height of it. I can grab a corner and make the video smaller or bigger. I can also click a radio button here to force it to a 16 by 9, a widescreen aspect ratio, or a normal aspect ratio, the 4 by 3 older ratio. I can click vertical center to vertically center it, and horizontal center to horizontally center it. Okay, I'm going to move it over to the right so I have room for some other stuff. Let's put on a flash or PowerPoint area. And I'm going to put that over here. Maybe just for fun, we'll offset them a little bit. So does everybody get the idea on, on this? Is there a question at this point? Nope? OK. Um, I'm going to point out something on the text area. You can set the font here for your text. You can set the color. You can set the font itself, whether it's bold, italic, regular, and you can set the point size. OK? So this is a template. I've created one called Training, and I'm going to save it. And now we're going to make a presentation using this template. You can also, by the way, modify any of the templates that are here. So I can go to background with text, move the text bar up like that, and click Save. And the text bar will be in the middle of the screen. I'm not going to really do that, but just to let you know, any template you make, you can modify. And any one that we provide, you can modify. So let's do a new presentation now. A presentation takes a template and you add media to the various areas, or zones as we call them, to make a presentation that you can play over and over again. So let's call this training, training presentation. And over here, we have to choose a template that we're going to use. Well, we have one called training that we just made. And now we see where the areas are, just like we created them on the template. And we have pop-ups and fields down here where we can select the media that we want in each of those areas. So let's choose something for the background. Um, we provide you with you know, things like red gradient. Um, not very exciting. Let me choose something that's a little bit cool. We have a golf course here, and there's a beautiful picture of it in high res. I'll put that on as the background image. And then in scrolling text, we can type whatever we want. And we can also insert dates and times. And I'll put some text in front of that. 
So today is and the long date will spell out the date. And I can also put the time. I'll use the short time. Long time shows the seconds, which doesn't make much sense. <laughs> so there's the short time. And if you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again, you can insert text from a file. So you can make a file full of you know, text lines that you typically like to use. And just click on that. And let me choose, just for fun, a news feed. Uh, how about the AP Top Stories? Now, that's what a news feed looks like. I went on the internet. I went to the Associated Press website. I looked for news feeds. And it has a. Um, line to connect to that news feed, and I simply copied it and pasted it into my text file. So just like that, I've added a news feed to scroll across the screen. Now the background on this, on this um, text bar, I can choose from 60 different backgrounds that are in here. And I just chose the one called Gold Medal. And I can also set how long it takes for the text to scroll across the screen. So I'm going to make it eight seconds. OK? So we're done with the background. We're done with the text. And now I'm going to add a PowerPoint. So let's see. We have a Boeing calendar. It's kind of cool. One of our customers does the interiors for Boeing. So we'll get to see some of their airplanes. And then let's put in a, a digital video or two. Uh, Ruby Tuesday is one of our longtime customers. I'll put in both of their movies. And you can put as many movies as you want in this list. So now we've defined our background, our text, our flash or PowerPoint, and our um, movie playlist. And we'll just save that presentation, and we're done. Now, if we want to see what that looks like on an actual display, we can hit the Preview button, and we'll send it to the main lobby screen by choosing its name from the pop-up. So here it goes. It's copying that to the screen. It's done. So I'll stop the preview on this machine. And let's connect to the um, to the actual player. So there's our Boeing slideshow going. And in a second, it's going to shrink it to the window. You know what I just realized? I'm going to not do that. Um, it's got some of their it's got some of their um, new aircraft that aren't published yet. I really shouldn't have been using that. Let me switch to something different. I know about the fifth slide. It's it's got some experimental um, stuff going on. So top secret stuff, huh? Well, it's it's just not you know something released yet, and I shouldn't be showing it in the public <laughs> space. So I'm going to tell tell it to play this preview for two minutes, and I'm going to choose main lobby. And so once again, it'll send it over there. I, I hear somebody asking something. You know? It sounds like a TV. Yeah, somebody just talking in the background. 
Oh, okay, okay. All right, so do you guys get the idea on presentations? I'm going to show you a, a scheduling, and then I'm going to come back to this because I want to do something totally different with that. Um, let me delete this. Okay. So as I told you earlier, main lobby is the screen we're looking at. And if you look at the schedule for main lobby, there's only one thing on here, and that's what's called the default presentation. Um, the default presentation is what is supposed to play 24 hours a day, seven days a week, unless you schedule something else. How do we tell it which presentation we want as the default? Well, back here on displays, main lobby, you see right here it says default presentation is blue sky. If we wanted to, we could change that to the presentation we just made by choosing it from the pop-up and hitting save changes. So the default presentation is what's going to play on this screen 24-7 unless you schedule something different. Okay. So a good idea early on is to create a nice default presentation for all your displays and have that set so that when nothing else is playing, you have something decent. Okay? So let's go back to the schedule. And what we're going to do is create a new event that is something different than the default. And we do that by clicking on New. And we choose a beginning time, like 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we choose the presentation we want to schedule. And we can also choose a repeat pattern. So let's say we want this to go every weekday, not on weekends, and we want it to repeat for 10 weekdays. We click Save, and there it is. So our training presentation will play from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, every weekday, for the next 10 weekdays. Well, let's take a look and see. I'll go up here to the calendar. And I'll look on October 3rd. Yep, it's there. October 4th? No, because that's a weekend. October 6th? Still there. Out on the 15th, 16th, and the 17th it goes away. So exactly 10 weekdays it has it, and then it disappears. OK? So using this system, you can schedule, let's say I wanted um, something to start on December 1st, I can schedule an event out here on December 1st for the holidays, let's say. Okay? Or I can come back to today. Now, I added this as a presentation. Once it's there, I can click on this button right here, Send Schedule to Player. And what it'll do is tell the player, let's just do it and you'll see what happens. A little window will pop up, and it will transmit this presentation to the player. Here's the window. And it's named DI Transport, interestingly enough. It connects to the player. It sends this schedule, and it's all done. So now what will happen within a minute, that display will switch to this training presentation because that's what we have put into our schedule. Now, the other thing you'll see, see these two little stars before the name training presentation? Down here it tells us those stars mean this presentation is stored on the media player and will play from there. So we don't have to do anything for that to play. We can turn off display it. We can close out of this software because it's on the player, and it will play from the player. You don't need to keep display it running. So here's what that presentation looks like. I know you can't see the digital video because of the webinar broadcast, but the digital video is playing in this black area here. We've got the flash presentation for Burbank, California, showing their um, weather, I guess. 
we've, we've got, got that, that background, background of the Paradise Valley Golf Club here in Scottsdale. Oh wait, there goes the video. Can you guys see that? Do you see the hamburgers? Yes. Okay. And down at the bottom, you see our news feed going on. Okay. Hey, John, I have a question. Yes. You see how it has that lag and that chopping in that uh, video? We want to experience that, will we? It has what? The video was kind of choppy and had a lag. Well, think about what we're doing here. Okay. I'm connecting to a remote computer. Then I'm broadcasting that through uh, GoToMeeting. You're connecting to my computer, and we're showing it on the screen. It's a lot different what I'm seeing on the actual screen than what you're seeing there. I was just asking it as a general question, just in case someone was thinking yeah. Now, now let me let me talk about that for one second. You can put a video on here that will be choppy, slow, terrible. That is very possible, and it really depends on how the video is. So let's say you do a um, a video that's set to play at 32 frames a second. It's 1920 by 1080 resolution, and it's stored in um, MPEG-1 format, okay? You use that combination, and I'll guarantee you the little media player won't be able to play it, won't be able to play it smoothly. So you have to think a little bit about the hardware that you're using. Um, in this case, we're playing it in a small window, not full screen. It is an MPEG movie, but it is set to play at 28 frames a second and that'll play smoothly. So there's a lot about this in our user guide. We have a, like four or five pages about how to optimize digital video for these screens. And, and the user guide is accessible to you. I'll just show you. When you go on the home screen, the, the first screen, there's a user guide button, and it'll bring up the PDF of the user guide. Okay. So the answer is you can you can think about your videos to make them optimized for playback on, on a small PC. And you can also play them less than full screen. You can make nice full screen videos. Um, in fact, I, I can do that with you. Um, MP4 format is great for that, or QuickTime format is great for that. AVI is also good. So, so it, it really, really depends, depends on the video, to answer your question. Okay, okay I'm, I'm going to add a couple more things in this schedule, schedule, just so everybody gets how that works. So let's do uh, an interactive menu board. <coughs> and let's do... Um, So do you see how I've got different events throughout the day here? Yes. I can save that schedule. Let's say I've done 40 events like this, okay, all through the day. There's, there's a limit of like 300 on any particular day. But it might be, you know, take a, a long time to put this in over and over again um, if you want to put it on a different display or whatever. So we have an export and an import capability. I'm going to export this schedule. And what it does is it saves the schedule in an Excel spreadsheet. So here's the Excel spreadsheet that we just created. Now I'm going to expand these out a little bit. Okay, so what you see here is a start time, an end time, the presentation name, and a repeat. Like the training presentation, we said repeat every weekday for 10 times. If we want to change that to 12 times, we can do it right here. 
if we want all of our presentations to repeat like that, right there in, in uh, Excel. We can also take a whole line and drag it down a box and change this to 915 to 945. So in Excel, we can build a schedule just like this. We can save it. And, and then, then we, we can, can import, import it back, back in. in. So, so it asked, asked me to find that schedule. It's on my desktop. desktop. Main, Main lobby schedule. And, and watch what it does. It, it builds that schedule for us right, right from, from the Excel, Excel spreadsheet. So, so if I wanted to... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So when you said that's the best way to actually set up uh, schedules for the you know different events for different moments throughout the day or throughout the year yeah yep so let's say i've got another display uh, observation and i want the same schedule to play there i'll choose that same spreadsheet and there we go or, let's say I want this same schedule, but I want it to start on November 2nd as well. So I can go out to November 2nd, import the schedule, and there we go. So now this is scheduled to play every weekday for 12 days, and if we take a look, there it is. So now we've scheduled out in November. So this import and export is a really powerful way to do scheduling, complex scheduling. You can do a different thing playing every five minutes if you want. Okay? Very nice. Hey, John. Yes. What's the duration on that? How long can you forecast that out to? Two years. So, so when, when it, when it sends, sends schedule, schedule to player, player that's, that's a two-year two schedule. schedule. Okay? Now, now the, the other, other thing you can do is rather than scheduling one, one display at a time, time like, like I'm doing here, here you, you can, can set up a group of displays and you, and you can, can build a schedule, schedule for that group. group. So, so I'm going to import my... my I'm lazy. lazy. I'll, I'll just, just import, import it again. <laughs> okay, so, so look what I just did. did. Now, now I am in a group called Time Clocks. I don't know why we named it that. That group has multiple displays in it, and I have just scheduled for all of those displays to play this list of stuff. So, so if, if I, I go, go to, to any of the displays that has, that's in that group, there's one that's in that group, there are the group presentations. And then on top of this, I can schedule separate stuff just for this particular display. So let me show you how to set up those groups, because that's a pretty powerful thing. You go to displays, and you click on groups, and, and you can, can create, create a new group, group delete, delete a group. group. I'll choose that one that I just did. So these are available to be put into the group. So let me just choose one and then add it. I hit Save Changes, and that's now part of the group. So these are the displays in the group. You can make as many groups as you want. So you can divide it up by building or... Um, you know, you know, we, we have, have, like, Blue, Blue Cross Blue, Blue Shield uses this, and they set up the Southeast, the Northeast, you know, as groups. So they don't have to schedule individually one sign at a time. The other thing that's really nice, you can set the default presentation for all of the displays in that group 
right here by choosing it from the PowerPoint, I mean from the pop-up, and hitting set. And it will set that default for all of them in one quick step. Okay, okay, I, I want to come back to presentations and do a couple more things that are important and I, and I think you'll use. So let's grab our training presentation. Instead of putting in a single slide paper or PowerPoint movie, I'm going to put in a slideshow here. So I am going to, I can choose, I can choose images from my library, but I can also browse for image files. So, so let me, uh, let's, let's pretend, pretend I want to do a whole, you know, tropical thing. thing. Let's, let's choose like six or seven slides here. here. So, so we've, we've just added, added to this slideshow all of these images. Okay? okay? Now, now, sometimes, sometimes images, images don't fill the screen. screen. So, so let me add one, one that doesn't fill the screen. screen. I happen to know it doesn't. Um, we'll go to thumbnails so I can recognize it. Okay, this one doesn't fill the screen. That one doesn't. That one certainly doesn't. Okay, so I've just added some images that don't fill up the screen. So what happens in that case? Do you get black? You don't have to. You can choose any of these backgrounds and, and it, it will put your pictures, it'll, it'll do like a Photoshop effect and show your image uh, with a nice border around it on that background. background. By, By the way, way you, you can, can click on any item here and you can use the up and down arrows to move it in the order. Okay. And, and another thing, thing you can do, you can, you can double click, and, and you can set, set the begin and end play dates. So if I want this to only play until October 5th, I can do that. And, and if I've done that, it'll be bold in the clip, so I know that it's date sensitive. Okay? Seconds per slide, I'm going to reduce that to like four seconds and I'll save the presentation. So there's our slideshow and you saw how it put it on the background. I'm going to get rid of these movies because they're really loud here. Let's add something that's quiet. Uh, what's quiet? I don't know, Grand Canyon, okay. So there's our slideshow. Let's preview the presentation. You'll see what I just did. You see up here in the top left corner? The first picture filled the screen or filled the area. The second one didn't, and there's our rust leaves background and the image superimposed on top of it with the edge. So you can make really neat slideshows like right off your digital camera and it only takes a few seconds to do that. Okay? Another thing I want to show you is a totally different template. Okay? So let me go to a presentation I, I did before called Mixed Media. And what this is, you can choose this for any presentation you, you make. There is a template that's built into the software called Full Screen Playlist. And, and there's also one with text at the bottom, okay? So the full screen playlist lets you mix um, videos, websites. I'm going to remove some of these, and we'll put in some of your stuff. Pictures and flash movies. You can mix all of these types of things, PowerPoints, and they will all play full screen. So, so let's, let's add a website. website. Uh, do, you do you guys have, have a website, website that I can plug in here? Yeah, yeah Mountain View College. College. Dot B Triple C D dot E D U. Spell that? Dot B C C C C D. 
Another day. You got EDU. Is that look right? No, you got too many D's at the end. This time. Too many D's, just one D. Yeah, dot EDU. That's okay. D C C C D dot EDU. Okay. So I put that in. Now I can highlight that and move it up and down with the arrows. I'm in the meeting right now. Yeah. Can you keep it up there? Okay. I can also click on the timing and I can say how long I want this to play. So I'll set it at 20 seconds. You see how it says that? All of these are set for a certain number of seconds. Okay? So let's save that presentation. We'll preview it. And let's go ahead and send it to the player. Okay? And then we'll take a look at it on the actual player. So here's our first picture. Oops, the website didn't work. Uh, Mountain View College. Did I put spaces in there? I didn't think I did. Anyway, I, I need to retype that. Mountain View College dot D C C anyway. M B C dot D C C C D dot E D U. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 There's our pictures. And now the flypaper mall map will come up. Flypaper is sort of like PowerPoint, but it lets you make interactive presentations and really cool ones with all sorts of animations. If this was a touch screen, I could click on or touch jewelry and see a jewelry ad over here or shoes and so forth. Okay, so let's correct this. We'll remove that. We'll add a website. Yeah. That. Does that, that look correct? correct? Uh, yeah, that, that should work. Okay. okay. So there, so there it is. is. Let's, Let's put, put it right, right at the beginning, beginning and save, save it. it. Preview. Preview. You need, you need the, the www. www. Uh, no, you're, you're probably right. right. Screw that up. Okay, okay one, one last try. <laughs> okay, now I got it. Yeah. Just yeah. work. Okay, okay, move, move it up to, to the top, top with the arrows. Save it. it. Preview it. There it is. And there, and there it is. is. Woohoo! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. So you may want to create special web pages specifically for this. In other words, there could be a slash something something that is just for the digital sign. Okay. So that's the full screen playlist presentation or template that's built into the software. Okay. So I've pretty much gone through the software. What I thought I would do is switch presenters with Rodney right now and show you what um, that screen looks like, this, or the display it at your, at your campus looks like. So Rodney, you should see a request on your screen now. There we go. And if you could connect to the... Uh, there it is. So, so this, this is your, your display, display it. 
and, and the, the only thing, thing that's, that's really going to be different is the list of displays is your list of displays. Okay, okay choose subway. The audio will turn off. Yeah, choose subway. Okay. So I can, I can view, view the screenshot. Screen is that one running? running? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay so, so there's what's on, on that screen, screen as of 12.51. Or, or, I'm sorry, 10.51. 10 10 okay. okay. So, so let's, let's go, go to, to the schedule. schedule. We'll go, go to, to the subway. subway. And, and that's what's playing, playing is the subway test. test. Exactly, exactly the same. same. You, can you can create a new event. event. You, you can export the schedule, import the schedule. You can, you can come into templates and make, make your own template. template. You can go, you can go to, to presentations, presentations and create your own presentation. presentation. So, so exactly, exactly what we showed you before, before the, the only difference, difference is it's going, going to be for your set of displays. displays. And those, and those look pretty, pretty self-explanatory self across from police department, department across from library, library main welcome center, center veterans. veterans. Any, Any questions, questions about, about that? that? No. Anybody? Anybody? No. no. Doing a good job, okay. John. So that's that's pretty, pretty much. much. We're just going to wait until Rodney can answer everything for us. So. <laughs> John, I'm just going to defer to Rodney. John, I have a question. Yes. Can you hear me, John? John? Yes. Can you can you turn, turn it off? off? And turn, turn the, uh, the, the PC on, on so it won't run, run through at night because the camp is closed at 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the schedule. Here's, Here's the, the subway screen. screen. So, so I'm going to make a new event from midnight till what time? time? 4 in the morning? Three. Three. No, the end time is going to be 10.30. Okay, okay, you want to black until 10.30 in the morning? No, I think from 10.30 at night until 6 in the morning. Right, okay. okay. That's good. So I'm going to do two events. This one goes from midnight to 6. And for the presentation, I am going to choose display off. Okay? And I can repeat that every day for however many days I want. 10, 100, whatever. So watch what happens. Display off from midnight to 6 a.m., and I'm going to do another new event, and I'm going to say every night from 10.30 till 11.59, and I'm going to choose display off, okay? Repeat every day for 10, whatever, 100 days, whatever you want. And now, display will be off during those times. Okay. Can, can, can you just set that as a default so you don't have to go in and remember that you don't want to set it for two days or three days or three weeks? Well, well, well we can do it for a hundred days at a time. So. Yeah, or you, can, or do you can do it for two years, years if you want to, or a year. Okay. 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 So I've just, so I've just set, set it for a year. year. Or, or 700 and, what is, what is it, 740 sets, sets it for two years? years? Okay. I'll do, I'll this, do one this one too. too. Mm -hmm. Why you have to create two different events? Can you create just one, like from Kathy mentioned, from, from 10 30 to 6 in the morning or 5 55 something? Like who's just showing you that job? Yeah, it, it, you need to do it as two like this. Because it's kind of one day schedule. Yeah, the calendar is set right now for October 2nd. I see. Okay. Okay, okay, so, so this, this, this is from midnight to 6 a.m. This is from 10.30 till midnight. midnight. Okay. Okay, so that's it. it. I've, I've now scheduled that as a, as a standard. And you, and you can, can do, do that for all your other uh, displays. You could, you could also put, put it in into a group schedule and just do that for all the displays 
as, as a group, group rule, rule that they, they all go off, off at that time, time and come back on. on. Okay. okay. Other, Other questions? questions? Yeah, I have, I have, I have a important, important question is for the police department. department. In, In case of an event, uh, uh, like a thunderstorm or tornado, or, you know, somebody being taken hostage or something like that, can the police can you set up some sort of police can send a blast out to all the meetings instantly? One button? Is that possible? Yes. yes. We have another piece of software. Um, it's, it's called, called Display It Now. DI Now. DI now. Let, me Let me show you. DI Now, now. Right, right here. here. Mm -hmm. and, that's and that's exactly what this is meant to do. To do. Get, get ready, ready to, to do that. that. What, what you, you do is create a new presentation, presentation and the file name has, has to begin with ZZZ. And, and I'm going to make, make it a full screen playlist, playlist and I'm going to add an image. image. Um, I, don't I don't have anything, anything that really makes sense, sense for that. that. What about, about scrolling text? Okay, I just had a couple images in there. Now, now we, we, we provide, provide you, let me see if some of these emergency things are on here. Um, let, me, let me change this. I think we may provide you some... Uh, let's see. Uh, where's our... Network. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember where everything was, was Rodney. Rodney. Uh oh, we're trying to go to the pink dry. Are you trying to go to the pink dry? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Go here. And there's, and there's the pink dry. dry. Okay, okay, good. Oh, oh you, you know what? what? No, 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 that was a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it should be here on this way. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me take, take a look, look here. No, no I, I don't see it. See it. Well, well, I'll, I'll send, send it to you. We, we have, have a whole library of um, emergencies, emergencies already made. made. Um, you know, you police, know police emergency, emergency fire, fire emergency, emergency, tornado, tornado hurricane. hurricane. We, we have, have those, those images already set up. So, so you, could, you could you could use those to do that. that. Okay. okay. And I, 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 give okay. I give it to the police department. Yeah, I give it to the police department. Let them uh, decide which ones they want to use. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll help them do that. that. So, so let me just save that for a second, okay? And then we'll start up this other DI now. And, and literally, literally you can choose, um, I don't, I don't see it, it. I, I guess I didn't really save it. it. Yeah, didn't, didn't I save, save that one? one? Anyway. anyway. So I, so I can choose which displays get, get this emergency broadcast. broadcast. And, and I can, I can de declare, declare an emergency and hit this one button, button display, display it now, to do, to do that. that. Okay, okay, but we'll, 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 get we'll get together and we'll show them how to make that work. work. There's, There's a little secret password thing that's, that's got to happen, so only the police department can do that. Okay, okay that'd be fine. Uh, so we'll, we'll do additional training just for the police department. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 We're going to delete this one. Okay. Yeah, we actually have to set them up with a special user privilege in the software. There's a, a privileges thing that happens down here. We'll set them up so that they can do emergencies. Okay? Okay. That was a good question. Other, other questions?
You know what? You know what I mean, so, I mean if, if we're just, just I mean, I mean like, like, I'm probably, I'm probably the guy that's going to just be inputting this stuff. stuff. When, they when they send, send me the files, files I'll have to, to well, I have to go through this whole design thing just to put it up, or can I just go to the presentation part and put it in the time slot? You would. You would do two things, add it to the media library, like what, what kind of file is it? Is it like a new PowerPoint, let's say? I, I, I'm going to be the, 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 the guy that just loads and I'm not going to design anything. Or, I mean, that, that, that's how we structured our, our, uh, our area over here. And so somebody's going to send me a PowerPoint or a uh, piece of signage. Okay, okay. I'm going to go to the media, media library where well, they have left it, right? Can they leave it in there and I, I pick it up? No, no you'll, you'll need to pick it up from their computer or from a network drive or somewhere from here, from here and you will add, add it to this library. library. Okay. Okay, so, so you name it and you click Add Flash or PowerPoint, and wherever it is, you find it and drop it in here for them. And then it's just ready for them to use. Okay, okay, and, and then, then how do I, I okay, okay, and I know you just got going, uh, just got, just, just, got, got, just, just went over this, this but, so, so now that it's in the library content, content I can go in and, uh, go to, go to presentation, presentation, right? Right. right. And, and then, then choose uh, the presentation uh, that's playing. Uh huh. Okay. And you would add, add it, you would add it to that presentation, delete the other stuff and put in your new one. Okay, okay, but, but if, if I have, have uh, several, several different things, things that are going to be scrolling through, through is what I'm getting at. Like, let's, let's say that, uh, uh, you know, student services, services has something that, that, I'm, that, I'm, that I'm putting up, and then, and then I, I turn around and doing, doing something for the chemistry lab. lab. So, so I put up student services, and then the chemistry lab, and I mean, yeah, if I just put them in there, Okay, okay, and I won't, and it will run, run for a minute at a time, time or, I can, well, you I can guess. click on, you can click on the timing, uh -huh. and you can say I want this one to play for seven minutes. Okay, so if it was a video, I'd need to know how long the video was, so it, so I could know how long to play it. Videos have their own timing built into them. Okay. So see how this says funny motivational video? And, and it doesn't have any time. I see it now. Okay. okay. Other things, things like images, PowerPoints, and so forth, you need to put a timing in. Okay. But that's literally, like, other people can, can come in here, create it and whatnot, and then I can just come in here and then do the schedule. Right. I mean, that, that makes sense as a user, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to remove these so I don't, so I don't mess, mess up what's, what's there. there. Okay. okay. Other, Other questions? questions? Here, 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 here. Yes, sir. Uh, here. Um, no, I don't have any questions. questions. Okay. okay. I don't, I don't think, so. think so. Yeah, I, yeah, I think something. Uh, Kathy, so you know what? what? There is, there is one, one more thing, thing I better show you guys. Um, let, let me do one, one thing here that is really, really important. important. I'm going to open, open up PowerPoint, PowerPoint for a second. second. Can, you guys Can you guys see the PowerPoint, see the PowerPoint window? window? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, let me, let me choose, choose a presentation. presentation. Um, just something, something goofy, goofy here. Okay. Okay. Very, Very important. important. This, this is not typical in PowerPoint, PowerPoint but you need to do this. this. There, there is, is a setup slideshow under the slideshow tab, tab and this, this is critical. critical. Normally, PowerPoints, PowerPoints are presented by a speaker. What what will happen is if that's clicked, clicked it, will it will play one, one time, time and then it will go, go to a black, black screen, screen and sit there. there. Okay? okay? So you, so you want to click this button, button browse to the kiosk, and that'll, and that'll make it loop continuously, and that's, and that's critical. The, the, the most common support question we get here is, 
my PowerPoint, my PowerPoint played, played once, once, and then my screen, screen went black. black. What's wrong? And this, and this is, is the issue right, right here. here. Okay. okay. The, the, the other, other thing, thing I want to point out, out if you're going to be um, developing PowerPoints, PowerPoints for full screen playback, playback in page setup, setup PowerPoint, PowerPoint by default uses on-screen show 4 by 3 you want to switch it to on-screen show 16 by 9. That's a widescreen layout. Okay, and do that right at the beginning. Because if you change it, it will stretch out everything and make it look bad. So those are the two things that are really important in PowerPoint. Your page setup and your slideshow setup have to be right. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, question regarding uh, PowerPoint. <laughs> because now, now in the newer versions of PowerPoint, you can export it as a movie, which, which will be an MP4. MP4. And, and would there be any issues, issues you, know, you know, with, with exporting, exporting it? I guess, I guess this this would you would have to make the, make the same, same settings, settings as if, as if you were going, going to use, use a PowerPoint when, when you, you export, export it. it. To a, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the wide screen would be, would be important, important, but the um, but the, but the browser, browser the kiosk wouldn't, wouldn't because, because the movie, the movie is going to play one time through. through you, know. you know, so, so totally, totally up, up to you. To you. Okay. okay. You got there? Is that what? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you get that? <laughs> Okay. okay, so that's, so that's the, the important stuff, stuff about, about PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Oh, oh, by, by the way, way you, you can, um, you can you can set, set timing. You guys, you guys already know how to do that, that in, um, in PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So, so I have, I have this, this one set, set to automatically change slides every four, four seconds. seconds. I, don't I don't want it to be on mouse click. click. Automatically, automatically every, every four, four seconds. seconds. I can change it and apply to all my slides. So, so you can, you can go, go into individual, individual slides, slides and change their timing and, and, and all of that. that. And you, and you can, can put in all the different transitions, transitions if you want nice effects. effects. So, all so all the transitions, the transitions are available. Pretty much, Pretty much PowerPoint, PowerPoint, you know. You know. Okay. okay. I'll quit out of PowerPoint. PowerPoint. And, and I think, I think that's, that's it. it. Unless, Unless there's, there's specific, specific questions. questions. I feel, I feel it's something I'm going to have to do a couple of times before I get it, but I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, one, one, one other thing, thing I'll mention, um, if you want to see, all, see all of this over again, again pretty, pretty much, in a 14 minute without, without you know, um, um and uh and, uh, and all that, that's the way we enjoyed enjoy that part of it. <laughs> I, recorded I recorded this, this. So, if so if you go, you go to display it, it and you, and you click, click watch demo, demo you'll, see you'll see exactly, exactly what, what I just did, did pretty much. Okay. 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 So John, I sure appreciate everything. If anyone wants, I don't think anybody else have any questions. Like I said, we have, we have it on Camtasia and then you recorded it, so uh, I think we covered and if we have any uh, additional questions that pop up, I will give you, give you a call. I'll contact okay. 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 That sounds great. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.